I was set up. I did not do it. Bounce from town to town like rubber checks. Bagel. Johnny Vega. Didn't know at the time I'd pay double for the crime. Not to mention a serious problem Johnny. with the opposite sex. I'm his ex-wife. I guess that's friggin' that. Like an anchovy to an alley cat. Johnny Vega's gonna have to stay a little further down the lost highway. Call me the Wanderer. Ooh, I like that. Wanderer. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, Wanderer? Well, I'm, uh, single. People say that I'm quite handsome. And uh, I just had my blood tested recently, if that means anything. My, my. And what can I tell you about myself? I'm all by my lonesome driving right behind you in the nude. Did you say... Mood? That's right. All I'm wearing is a smile and a steering wheel, and I'm looking for a party. How about pulling over and helping me blow out my candles? Johnny. Johnny? I said my name's The Wanderer. Oh, did I say Johnny? Uh, no, I, I meant Wanderer. <laughs> Beverly. <laughs> Just up ahead of you, honey. I'm coming as fast as I can. We wouldn't want that ice cream to melt now, would we? Yeah, like ice cream would have a chance to melt in front of your fat face, Beverly. Okay, it's me. Now pull over. Well, try to catch me if you can. Face it, Johnny. You can't get away from me, so why don't you just make it easy on yourself and pull over? Where'd you go? <laughs> Look at this. Always a trailer park when you need one. Don't you think, Johnny? It's just making me mad. You don't want to make me mad, do you, Johnny? You remember what I'm like when I'm mad, huh? Huh? Hey, Beth. Are you really naked? Of course not, you moron. You have the right to remain silent, which I would highly recommend. Anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. <sighs> that is, if you make it that far. If you cannot afford an attorney, which judging from your failure of paying alimony, I'm sure you can. <sighs> Another day in Bagoland. Gonna go next door, bum a nice cup of hot coffee for my friendly neighbor. Funny. You are, Senator. Well, maybe I don't like being laughed at. Sourpuss, huh? Hi. I'm Mary Lee. Hey, what do you say you get out of the way between me and the sun? It's cold enough out here already. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen around here. Some kind of nuclear accident? No, silly. We're a traveling circus. Yeah. Traveling, huh? That's a hell of an idea. I think I'm doing a little traveling myself, right now. Maybe you'd like to clean off first. <laughs> oh, actually, I love the feeling of mud between my toes. <laughs> That's not mud, silly. That's from the yellow. <laughs> 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 
Yours. <laughs> Don't worry. In the circus, it's considered good luck to step in it. I guess that makes you the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Oh, jeez, what happened to Kissy Face there? I have seen this before! Viplesh! What? Viplesh! Your reckless driving has given him Viplesh! Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bosco of Bosco's Big Cup. The chimp and all that you see belongs to me. Well, look, mister, I'm real sorry about this, but uh, truly it was an accident. I mean, that, that, that thing attacked me. Chemo is chimpanzee for your information. He has opposable thumbs. Well, let's hope that's all he has, because that dirty bastard tried to kiss me right on the mouth. He says he was merely trying to tell you to slow down and be careful. Oh, well, that's a lie, you <laughs> oh, Please. It is not necessary to cast dispersions as to Kimo's birthright. Haven't you hurt him enough? Rest, my little innocent victim. A few enchants, Mr. Uh... Bago. Johnny Bago. And no, I do not. I'm afraid that then, Mr. Bago, this injury will require expensive therapy. I'm thinking maybe two, three hundred dollars. Whoa, whoa, wait a second there, uh, bingo. Bosco. All right, whatever. Listen, I know a scam when I see one. And even if I had the money, I wouldn't give it to you. You have nothing? No, I have nothing. Turn me upside down and shake me for all I care, because I don't have it. Oh, it's just an expression, you dumb ox. This is our money to have. Then you work the rest off here at Bosco's Big Top. What, at this freak show? Mm -hmm. You'd have to kill me first. By the way, that was just an expression. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, boss. We got hung up at the roadblock. Uh, apparently, the cops have blocked off both ends of town looking for an escaped murderer. Hey, uh, Bosco, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Let him down before his brains rush to his head. Oh. Listen here, uh, Bosco. Uh, right there. Uh, give it some thought. I uh, feel it's my responsibility to make this right, so uh, I'm going to work it off. You're talking. Sure, why not? A couple of days in a circus could be more fun than a barrel of whiplash monkeys, huh? <laughs> yeah, you never get over that first one, do you? Yeah, I think I got my first hernia. Come on, admit it. <sighs> We've all felt it. You never get over your first tip raising. Well, I got news for you. This is my first and my last. <laughs> we'll see. What's that supposed to mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, little man? Uh, uh, not the boss. I was just telling him how wonderful it was working here at Bosco's Big Top. That's right. It's so wonderful. Then why are you talking and not vacuum? Sure. Sure. But is that you're doing? It's about 900 degrees out. I'm a little thirsty. So is my monkey. But he can't drink because someone tried to run over him. Go, Bush, elephant!
just how you feel, pal. I feel changed this place myself. Hey, you know what, pal? You got some dry skin there. So we had to stay cold. You know, my Aunt Dora had the same thing, but she just had it on her elbows, you know? <laughs> so she sent away from some special cream that she found in the back of a wrestling magazine. I'll have to send you a job. What I wouldn't give to be in that back of her shoes. Are you crazy? He's a complete stranger. What do you know about him? You can just tell a lot by the way a guy washes an elephant. He's got that velvet touch. There's just something about him that's... different. What's the matter, friend? <laughs> four, four dogs. Uh, I suppose it'd be a, enough if I uh, toss them up with breadcrumbs. You mean you're gonna feed these dogs to that lion? Basker said that uh, town pets are cheaper than uh, sirloin. Yeah, four dogs enough to keep me alive. I guess it's just a cat eat dog life, pal. It's a cat eat man. Life. It was a pretty good show. Thanks a lot. I felt my Hey, Lulu's. Hmm, good. I'm the customer! I barely touched you, that didn't hurt. It didn't tickle. Get out of my sight, you big sniveling, melt of weakling. Ow! What the hell is this? This is Ambrosia of the Big Top. Forms the belly, thickens the blood. What the hell's in this stuff, Bubble? That's not all. Peanuts, popcorn, cotton candy, everything Bosco sweeps up for the last show. <sighs> Say fit for human assumption. You don't like food, eh, monkey may matter? Fine, then you go hungry. You are not the first person I had to face down. Wet garlic on his breath. Big talk in big top. Get big vipping. So much for big vipping. Now you got me saying it. Hi. Aren't you gonna invite me in? I'd like to, but that means I have to take the door off the hinges. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. What do you want? I thought you might be hungry. Spaghetti marinara? <laughs> Where'd you get this? My own private stash. Bosco insists I keep my weight up. He would beat me if he knew I was sharing. Why are you doing this for me? Because you're so brave. Everyone hates that brute Bosco. Nobody has the guts to stand up to him the way you did. It makes my loans quiver. Yeah, I thought I heard thunder. <laughs> you're so silly. You better watch out, Johnny. Bosco has a way of getting control of people. Oh, well, look. The only thing I'm worried about is this stuff getting cold. Bon appetit, Johnny. Hey, thanks for the challenge. And remember... 
Be careful. What the hell do you want? I want for you to go back. You a troublemaking person? Fine with me. Wait, 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 wait. First, one more task. Name it. The lion's cage. It needs a thorough cleaning. The lion's cage? <laughs> well, does it have to be the lion's cage? I mean, can't it be something else? Or like, like a dig a ditch or something? Don't worry. The lion won't be in there with you. I'm not worried about that. But do you want to get out of here or not? Fine. to that old innocent man story. You are an immature, lazy, ignorant, shiftless, pathetic... I'm innocent. Just, just let me out of here. Spineless, easily gulled, small-time schnook. But I didn't kill him, Warden. I didn't kill him. With absolutely no chance of having a life outside these walls. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill nobody. Oh, what do you think of that chemo? I'm innocent! I can't get it open! I didn't do it! I'm innocent! Those bastards! They set me up! You're gonna get me. I didn't do nothing. You gotta help me get out of here. No one. I think you're right. We may have just found the soft underbelly of this Johnny Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm innocent one. It's okay. You've just had a fright. <gasps> oh. 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 Yeah, I think I'm having another one. Are you in uh, some sort of trouble, J Johnny? Trouble? Well, who said I was in trouble? You did. Don't you remember? In the lion's cage, you were saying how you didn't kill somebody. Oh, that. <laughs> uh, I guess my little plan worked, huh? No, I, I just said that to get out of cleaning the cage. <laughs> well, you are a clever one, Johnny. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, that thing smells like a huge kitty litter box. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing to worry about then. He's not going to get stuck here like us. What do you mean, stuck here like one of you? Let's go. Move along now. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh. Maybe I ought to take a break. <laughs> what do you think of my chauffeur, Officer Flavia? How did you know my name? I was talking to Sheriff. He tells me you're looking for information leading to capture of the man in this photo. Voto? Oh, this Voto. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for him. Have you seen him? Well, uh, 
not to be crass, but uh, is there a reward for this criminal tenuti? Yeah, there's a reward. How much money are we talking about? How much are we thinking about? Oh, I'm not asking much. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars? He didn't bankrupt an SNL, he just killed a guy. How much were you thinking about? $37.85. This is very petty criminal indeed. Not worth noticing. But if I see him, I'll let you know. Drive on. I've been married seven times. Just never bothered to get a divorce. Ever since Bosco found out about it, I've been working here for free. Like the rest of them. Wait a second. You mean you're all prisoners, prisoners of Bosco. Bosco? You too, Marilee? I had an appointment to see a glandular doctor in a high-rise professional building. I suppose I should have waited for the empty elevator. We made it all the way up to the 17th floor before the cable snapped. I was the only one who survived. I ran and ran until Bosco found me. <sighs> um, but <clears throat> why are we burdening you with all this? <clears throat> right. um, <clears throat> speaking of Bosco, did he hear me say all that stuff in the cage? What do you care? The joke's on Bosco, right? You... You were just kidding about being an escaped murderer, right, Johnny? Of course I was just kidding. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you see my shoes around here sometimes? Bye-bye, Big Tap. Going somewhere, Johnny? Hey, Bosco. Seems I caught you just in time. Well, yeah, I, I did clean out the lion cage. Yes, I saw that you did. Johnny, come. Have some schnapps. Nah, I'd, I'd rather not, Bosco. You know, drinking and driving. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Johnny, now we must have drink for celebration. What are we celebrating? The new contract for Johnny Tanuti. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ears. I have wonderful news for you. Johnny here has such affection for you all, he has decided to sign on permanent. Oh, I'm sorry, John. But you're not happy for you? <laughs> the tear is! That's better! We are one big happy family! I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry, Johnny. Sorry, Johnny. Come, come. Why do we hang grabs on this day? After all, it's not better. Johnny works in Bosco's big top than behind bars his murderer. Murderer? Johnny will answer this question for you later. Uh, but for now, because Johnny is new, I want very much for someone to be with him at all times to show him the rope. I'll show him the rope? We don't have ropes at day. <laughs> Johnny, I think that you should be with chemo. I have big plans for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sweep up all the candy and the gum and the popcorn for tomorrow's lunch, right? <laughs> but I give you a little hint. The whole world loves fun. A clown. A clown? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I, I don't know nothing about being a clown. Hey! Don't underestimate yourself, Johnny. Johnny, cheer up. Why, just because I'm Bosco's slave? 
I gotta dress up like a clown and I'm chained to a monkey that won't stop doing things to himself? Or me for that matter? You get off me, you little... As bad as it gets around here, we always have the circus. And we always have each other. Marilee, tell me the truth. Are you really fulfilled being the fat lady of the circus? Johnny, when I was a little girl, my father took me to my first circus. And there she was, bathed in the warm glow of the spotlight. So beautiful. The fat lady? <laughs> no, the lady on the flying trapeze. You wanted to be the lady in a flying trapeze? It probably is sort of hard to imagine. Me defying gravity, flying through the air with the greatest of ease. You know, I had to accept the fact that if I was going to be in the circus, it wasn't going to be as that lady on the flying trapeze. Just the fat lady. But doesn't it bug you to have all them people laugh at you and everything? Not really. I sort of like it. it. It means that they've forgotten their troubles for a while. I mean, when they laugh at me, I sort of feel like I'm doing them a service. I mean, it's uh, pretty hard to look at me and worry about your diet, don't you think? I just wish I could make you laugh. This might put little bouts in your step, Johnny. think you're a pretty good guy. So we just want you to know that after tonight's show, when Bosco drinks himself into a drunken stupor like he usually does, we're all gonna run away. Wait a second. I thought you were supposed to run away to the circus, not from the circus. We'll find some other big top. Anyone without Bosco around will be an improvement. And we're taking you with us. So, you freaks want to leave Bosco, huh? Okay. You leave. I'm crutchy. What do you say, Johnny? Come with us. I see big things in your future. Namely me. <laughs> well, what do I do about him? I mean, not only am I chained to him, but the freaking thing's got my bagel keys around his neck. I've been saving this for a special occasion. And I think this is the one. I've only been around here a couple of days. And even a monkey. Excuse me. Even a moron could see that you got the brains around here. Hey, how much they paying you anyway? Huh? Bananas, huh? Well, they're ripping you off, man. This is monkey pay. How about another? Sure, why not? Miss Florio. Who the hell is this? This is Bosco. We met today at the roadblock. Remember? Transylvanian monkey man, I remember. What do you want? <laughs> yes, charming lady. If you want criminal you seek, bring $39 and be under Bosco's big top tonight at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock tonight, all right. So. I bet you're getting a lot of monkey action around here, huh? Oh, well, that's a crying shame. A good-looking monkey like you? Oh, let me tell you something. You're better off in that freaking zoo. Yeah, I, I know. We all got to have it. It's in our blood for crying out loud. <laughs> They think they can ruin me. There are as many freaks 
as there are stars in the sky. Tonight we kick off the show with the real bank. I haven't had it in over five years. Man. Hey, you know what to tell me about it. Well, listen. You know, Marilee, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's kind of ape. She's crazy about me. And I was thinking, you can make a decision without that big bloated bastard, can't you? So why don't you let old Johnny off these cuffs here and give me about an hour. What do you say? Give me a half hour alone with her. All right? Come on, I'll settle for ten minutes. I'll make it a quickie. What, what do you say? Please. Ah! Uh, do it with you in the room here? Ah! Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I'd be too self-conscious. <laughs> what a sport. And to think that some people say that we don't come from apes. Why, that's insulting. Ah! Hey, you want to kill the last uh, little bit here? Oh, go on, it's all right, I insist. It's the least I can do for my pal. Hey, hey by the way, um, you still got the uh, Timadoodle keys? You, you think I can see them for a sec? Oh, hey, hey, take it easy. I just wanted to see if you still had him. <coughs> well, if it's a joke, I ain't laughing now, am I? Run away, little pets. Run away, run away, run away. Tonight you'll be the only ones running away. <laughs> Don't worry. You're gonna get plenty to eat before the night is through. Put the gun down before you kill somebody. Oh, sorry to disturb you, Johnny. I, uh... see you're in the middle of something. No, that's quite all right, gorgeous. Come on in. Uh, I just thought you boys might like some of this fresh banana cream pie. You dropped this, Johnny? No, no, he did. I was just gonna give it back to him. That wouldn't be too smart. Give loaded weapon to drunken monkey. Come, Kim. Fresh air will sober you up my little tingle belly. And now that we're on the subject of bellies, Merrily, we better get ready for the show, hadn't we? Yes, Bosco. Don't forget your training meal. Miss Piggy. <laughs> and now for you, Johnny. I hope to take this as a compliment when I tell you you look ridiculous. Thank you, Marilee. And how do I look, Johnny? You look absolutely, positively, undeniably fat. <laughs> You're just saying that? Oh, no, no, I mean it. Good luck, boys. Don't sleep up. Like a leg. And I really mean that, too. Fed the lion, right? What do I look like? A piker? Of course I did. And uh, you lo lo loaded it, r r right? Yes, like I always do. Only the night it's with blanks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to witness the most amazing 
dancing. So on earth, behold our fabulous performance. Just think, one last performance and we're going to be free. Speak for yourself, Marilee. Have you seen this man? Who wants to know? Officer Florio, New York Police Department. Sorry. Uh, he's kind of cute, though. Come on, Dribbles. Come on, Dribbles. Showtime. That's right, Dribbles. Go, this go. way. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. This way. <laughs> Johnny, I see you finally found a profession that suits you. Johnny, uh, I don't think you want to be in, in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is good. The three birds from stone. Johnny, at least you're gonna leave them laughing. Look behind you. I don't think that's the one with the finicky appetite. Oh, that's a cheap one. Haven't we tried that before? Dribbles. Whoa. You lock this door! <laughs> but open this, my friend. Come on, Kimo! Kimo! Open this door! A oh, boy, will you get out with me? Kimo! Kimo! You little Benedictano! Hey! Shut up! You call yourself the king of the beast? Everybody knows it's the females who put the food on the table. That's right, while we're raising the cubs. What are you males doing all day long, huh? Just lying under the shade of the bong bong tree, flicking yourself. You look at me, hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, you mangy, flea-bitten alley cat. And another thing, have you smelled your breath lately? It smells like something died in there. Go on, get out of here, move it, that's right, get out. You heard me. Okay, Johnny. Now we're gonna act out one of my little fantasies. Get up there. Forget it! Get up there! That's it. That's it. On all fours. That's it. Now roar. Louder! You think you're trying to make me feel like a dummy? You ain't succeed! Oh, yeah? Well, it seems to be playing pretty well in Peoria. Okay, now over here. Move it. Move it. Now get up there and roll over. What? You heard me. Roll over. Where are you gonna go? Through the air! What'd you stop for? Emily, here comes a 
time in a man's life when he's got to go with some dignity. Well, you can die with your clown shoes on. Is that dignified enough for you? Hey, he's a blank. Johnny, I missed. Jeez. Mary Lee, are you okay? <laughs> I think so. Something broke my fall. <laughs> oh, my. Did I do that? Just the way she likes it. Pressed, no starch. Early, they're laughing. Of course they're laughing. We gave them a show they'll never forget. <laughs> He ate Bosco. He ate Bosco? We're, we're free? Are we good at me? We're free! We couldn't have done this without you, Johnny. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that we would be honored if you would stay on and be our new ringmaster? You can even whip us if you want to. Where's Red Coat? Did you hear that? I just lost my stamina. <laughs> I'll take real good care of you. You'll never go hungry. Yeah, I, I know, Marilee, but uh, <clears throat> you know how it is. I, I gotta hit the road. I'm a wanted man. Well, you're not wanted by anyone more than me, but... I understand. You better get going. But first... Wait a second! Wait a second! I don't believe this! Oh, come on, Johnny. You trying to tell me something happened between you and her? How come you wouldn't even look at me when I was her size? You were never her size. Don't flatter yourself. But take this to heart. I know a guy who'd like to build his entire world around you. Oh, yeah? Who? <laughs> Him! Something. I'm doing you a favor. I usually don't like to fix people up. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, yeah, a little pimento to remember me by. <laughs> Dear Mom, two things happened to me that I want to tell you about. The first thing was, I almost got eaten by a lion. But before I get into that, I want to tell you about the second thing that happened to me. I fell in love, Ma. I fell in love with a beautiful lady who just happens to weigh over 350 pounds. Now, before you make any cracks about fat people, hear me out. I know the way you used to laugh at Beverly when she was fat, but I learned something about fat people, Ma. See, inside Beverly's fat body was a mean, rotten, thinner person trying to get out. But inside this other woman 
was a kind, sweet woman who liked what she was inside. It's the ignoramuses like us that make these people miserable. Now, as to how I got saved from being eaten by the lion, I didn't have a gun, I didn't have nothing. What saved me was my sense of humor. See, I'm beginning to think that's all that really stands between us and the lion. You probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? Well, I got no time to explain. I'm on a run, as usual. Goodbye for now, Mom. Love, 